Bible says that he comes to a place called the Gadarenes. And the moment the Lord steps out of the boat, the demon-possessed man meets him on the shoreline of the Gadarenes. Suddenly there's a conversation that begins to take place on a level that the disciples could not discern. Firstly, the devil said to Jesus, you are the son of God. The problem is the disciples, they didn't even know that yet. Because when they were in the storm, they said, who is this man that even the wind and the waves obey him? You see, the disciples were looking at a conversation, but they didn't understand there was more at stake than what their natural eye could see. See, there are some times in your life that you might feel the devil resisting you. But unless you are awake, unless you discern there's something greater going on than you'll ever know. See, there are some times in my ministry, I thought it was about this, but it was really about this. I thought someone was attacking my integrity or my preaching. It wasn't that. It was the enemy trying to resist me in order for me to give up the territory. If you look back at revivals, years and years and years, there comes a time when you look and say, God, did you not move there? But now the enemy has taken back But you see, I'm here to preach to some of you. There are some things in your life you thought were over. You see, this is a fight for territory. And I felt to preach to some of you, you're about to take back your territory. God's about to give some of you new territory that you've never possessed before. Jesus comes to the man, but the thing was this. I never saw what was really taking place because of the pain of the man. I can't blame the disciples because I never saw it. This was more than just the man. This was a fight for the territory. I'd never seen that the Gadarenes were taking care of the pigs. I didn't know that the Gadarenes means the pilgrim, the pilgrimage or fight. They were heathen. When Jesus said, let us cross over, he wasn't just speaking geographical. This was more than just crossing a lake. What Jesus said is, Satan, I'm about to take the territory. You see, the woman at the well, it wasn't just about the woman, it was about the whole city. Jesus was dealing with her promo oh, I can't even say the word, a promiscuity. She was an adulterous woman. Jesus was dealing with the adultery, but actually she was the key to the city. See, what you don't understand is this. The demoniac man was the key to the territory. That means you're under attack for a reason. You don't realize what's coming against you. You're the key to the territory. You're the key to your family. You're the key to your marriage. You're the key to your home. Oh. The disciples could not perceive it, but hell knew. John Michael, I never linked the demoniac to the storm. I never linked. You, you, sometimes you got to get rid of the chapter. You got to get rid of the number to read the story. We've divided the Bible up so that we feel like it's separate. No, 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 no. This was one story. The storm was the link. 
You see, when Jesus said, let us cross over, the storm was hell's first line defense to stop Jesus from ever stepping into the territory. Oh, you don't hear what I'm saying to you. You might be in a storm right now, but if you just trust God, he's about to take you over to the other side. You're about to step into the territory. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. We want to thank you for watching. If you want to know more about Shake the Nations Ministries and our YouTube channel, why don't you click the subscribe button? Also, if you want notifications of our brand new videos, why don't you click the bell? There's so much more in Shake the Nations Ministries that you can get involved in. Why don't you click also the link to our website to find out more? To find out more about our humanitarian arm, Hope of All Nations, make sure you click the Hope of All Nations button where you can learn about us taking the gospel to thousands of children around the world and our work in the ground of the nation of Honduras. We can't wait to see you next time.